the scanning technique for the liver and gallbladder in lateral recumbent canine patients. For this technique, the patient can be placed in either the right or left lateral recumbency with their legs directed towards the sonographer. This position will allow the holder to have complete control over the patient's front and hind limbs. From this position, there are two approaches to obtain long axis images of the liver. For either of these long axis approaches, ensure the transducer marker is always pointing cranially. In the first approach, place the transducer marker at the midline, caudal to the xiphoid process. The sonographer can then fan dorsally and ventrally to assess the left and right sides of the liver while taking videos. For the second approach, slide the probe from midline along the costal arch towards the spine to obtain video and images of the left side of the liver. Repeat the process on the right side. In difficult patients, an intercostal window approach may be used. That is using both left and right lateral recumbencies to find a suitable window. The last three to four intercostal spaces should be included when shaving the patient. Once an adequate image of the liver is obtained, the sonographer should remain at that location, fanning cranially and caudally. Use color Doppler to identify the area of the hilus and differentiate the portal vein from other anechoic tubular structures, such as the common bile duct. Adjust your color Doppler settings as necessary. To evaluate the short axis plane or transverse plane, rotate the transducer marker so it points towards the right side of the patient until the diaphragm is seen, crossing from the right to the left side. Direct the ultrasound beam cranially with a fanning motion until liver tissue can no longer be seen. Now, fan caudally until the liver parenchyma is no longer seen and the stomach is in the field of view. Evaluate the right and left sides of the liver, keeping the diaphragm in view. Acquire static images and measure lesions as necessary. It is important to use enough depth and ensure that the diaphragm covers approximately 75% of the total scan field of view. When evaluating the gallbladder, place the patient in left lateral recumbency so that their right side is facing upwards. Use the highest frequency transducer for small patients, as this is a small and superficial organ. The gallbladder is a pear-shaped vesicle located right of the midline. It lies between the liver's quadrate lobe medially and right of the medial lobe laterally. Best window for visualization will be the right intercostal, dorsal and cranial to the xiphoid process. This window will allow the sonographer to evaluate the fundus, body, and neck of the gallbladder, especially if gallstones are suspected. The porta hepatis and the pyloric duodenal junction can also be evaluated using this technique, since the neck of the gallbladder can be used to identify this region. During this procedure, include video comparing the liver and spleen echogenicities.